What's up, guys? Welcome back to Maestro Vapes. It's cool to have you. Um, today, I'm going to talk a bunch about vape can stuff. Got back. I've kind of been off for, you know, about a week. I've kind of let the comments on the channel build up. I read all of them. Some of them I had a hard time finding. Like, uh... On the 20 gauge build video, if you post a comment, I kind of got to sift and sort through all the comments. And there's like 30,000 views on that video. So there's a lot of comments to sift and sort through. People are still asking about batteries. What batteries do I use? The batteries that I use are Sony VTCs. I use the fours and fives. You can certainly use the threes if you can still find them. There are clones of them, so be weary of what you find. Get them from a reputable dealer. Um, sometimes I still use the uh, purple EFS, the 30 amp EFS, not the 35 so much. I find the 30s hit a little bit better. Um, the 35s, I still have a few of them. I've got like eight of them. I put them in the Hexome right now. They seem to work good in the Hexome with a build that's around point four-ish, 0.5 ohms, something like that. They work really good for that, okay? Ooh, I found another battery at uh, Vape Can, okay? 26650 battery. I've been using MNKEs and they just don't cut the mustard all the time. So they're just the internal resistance, uh, the amp limits of it are just not quite high enough. So I picked these up from Vapor, Vaporous, Vaporous, maybe. Um, and these are the Vape Power 26650 IMRs, and they're rated at 40 amp continuous and 60 amp pulse, okay? So these are working so good. 4200 Ma, I can almost make it a day on one of these, you know? As long as I'm using another mod as well, like take the Hexome, and then I take the Manhattan, and I can make it through a day on one of these. Usually I'll end up swapping it out at the end of the day. But really cool batteries. I'm digging the way these work. They never get hot, man, on low res, which is awesome, my friends. Some shout-outs I want to give, you know? Cool stuff, okay? Check this shirt out, okay? It says, when in doubt, vape it out, bitches. And this is from... Uh, Esig Flavorium, which is down in the beaches in Toronto. Okay, super cool. They gave me an XL and it's kind of gripper. Like I can't wear it, I'm too fat for it. So if you guys end up with like a two or three X, I would totally be on that. Um, they're cool. Like if you go down there on a Saturday or Sunday, something like that, they serve up coffee and uh, vanilla cupcakes or something like that, it's like customer appreciation stuff. Really, really nice folks down there. Okay, who else, man? A lot of juice. Like, I just got so much juice that it's kind of ridiculous. Like, the amount of stuff I got. Um, samples for days and days and days, man. A couple shout-outs. Who do I got? Iblis? I'll shout them out. Why not? They're new. Iblis. Gold Seal was giving away 30 mil bottles of juice. Although I'm not a huge fan of their juice lineups. It was cool they did it. Esig Flavorium again. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Who else? Bear with me, kids. Got my vape can bag. What else do we got? Kick Ash. Super cool guys in Niagara Falls. Very cool. Oh, there's my 50 50 tickets. Bummer. Vaporous or Vaporass, whatever it is. Cool guys. Casa de Vape, Maple Leaf Vapes, oh man, these guys are the coolest, Happy Vapor, okay, they're located in Vaughn, and I, I've gone there and got a bunch of stuff from them, I shot a couple of videos for them, I saw Jack and Sean from over there, and I talked to Jack for a little while, and then I had to cut, I had to cut out of there, and uh, I was, I just thought, okay, well, I'll stop and talk to him again and then things happen you talk to other people things are going on they're busy with someone else and then you don't end up talking to them again and i felt kind of bummed that i couldn't talk to these guys again really kind of sucked for me vapors on blur vapor bar in dundas that's pretty cool pure liquid i don't know what that's about 
What was a cool card? Raptor Vapes? I think that's kind of a part of iBliss. Ecigarettes.ca. Young Street in Toronto. This was pretty cool just because their card was super cool. Ecigarettes.ca. I don't know. I didn't see their booth. Maybe I did. Some more iBliss stuff. Stickers. Vapestation.ca. Kick Ash, Kick Ash, Kick Ash. Kick Ash was giving away these kind of like these mod rings. What are these? These vape rings or whatever these are called, right? Vape. Vape rubbers. What are these? Vape. I can't read this, man. Inside it says it. Vapeband.com. Okay. And they have their own little guys. They had these sub ohm ones, but they sold out of them. And I was kind of choked because I wanted one so bad. It just said sub ohm. And I thought it was the coolest, coolest thing out there. These are more of the same. I say I showed you guys these, but it was pretty cool. The shirt was super cool. I want a two or three X, man. It's my name tag that I was wearing around there. Good, good times, man. Um, what else? There's somebody I'm forgetting. You know, the guys at Dash Vapes. I always got to give it up to them. They are super cool guys. Um, so there was a cloud contest. Let me tell you about this. Friday there was a cloud contest. And there was like a dozen people in it. So I'm like, yeah, I, I want in. I want to blow clouds. You know, like I build to clouds and that's what I like, right? So I had, I, I just went with my regular build that day. I wasn't too pumped. Like it wasn't like super awesome. It's like the build I have in here still. I've had this build going in the Patriot for, you know, a week and a half or something like that. So. And it works well, okay? I think it's around a 0.14 ohm build in this right now, I think. It's 0.12. Anyway, it works good. It's not like ridiculously low, but it's close. Like it's bordering that 30 amp limit, you know? Um, so I get up there and it's like the, the crowd chose the winner. So at the end, they're applauding. They're like, so who thinks so-and-so won? Who thinks, you know, Ralph Maestro won, whatever. And people were cheering. And I had like three people in the audience who were like my friends and they're cheering, right? And then the one dude, I ended up winning. Yay, I won cloud contest again. Yay, me. But uh, yeah, one dude's like, oh, that's not fair. It's like a popularity contest. I overheard him say to somebody else. And I'm just like, I look out in the crowd and he's got like eight people with him. And I'm like, really? It's a, you have more peeps than me. Like, whatever, right? So not a big deal. But so I win, right? What do I win? They gave me like a whole lineup of pure e-liquid juice, like 10 mil samples. Uh, no nick. I could nick them up if I want at all, I guess. And I won this <laughs> for a cloud contest. I won the uh, Inikin CLK. And... Where am I at? I've got this at 4.8. We'll click it to 5. I've got a Vapor Chase Brews Key Lime Pie in here right now. It's nice juice. And it works okay. How do I tailpipe this? So i got to break the tip off. I guess there's no tailpiping, right? Five volts on this is a little high. Anyway. I won this. <laughs> All right. I've been trying it out. Vapor Chase Brews are cool. I'll get a little bit more on him. But um, I, went, I won this as well. This is the uh, Inakin iTaste VF RDA. And my buddy's like, oh, cool, man. You could do a review. And I'm like looking at it. And at first I thought, wow, it's got, you know, generous airflow in it. This is going to be cool. But there's like three airflow holes. And you cannot, like, I don't know if you can see this, but they're pretty big slots. So I thought this is going to be cool. But I take it apart and I'm looking inside of it. And there's three of them that are all evenly spaced. So if you're doing dual coil builds, you can get airflow on one, but not on the other, and then somewhere onto your cotton. So the design is just, you're not going to see a review for this. It's pretty bad, man. It is pretty bad. I apologize to anybody who's vaping one of these and likes it. I just, 
I can't build to it personally. But yeah, that's what I won. Cloud Contest, CLK. Um, friends, if you, if you got a friend or somebody yeah, in the, in the you know, very Toronto area, whatever, I will hook them up with this for sure. Um, oh, it's kind of neat. Maybe I'll give it to like, you know, Crazy Ant or something like that. Um, juice. They gave out a ton of juice, like I was saying. Um, oh, shoot. The Cloud Contest. I didn't even get to where I wanted to. So they did one every day. So Saturday, they did another Cloud Contest. And they're calling people up. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go. And I'm going to kind of let these this dude redeem himself or whatever so i go up there and they're like no you can't go on stage i'm like why i, I won yesterday like you know i i want to give this dude a chance to kind of you know fire back right so they're like no we have three guys i'm like there's three guys okay well i won't can i be the fourth and they're like well no because we only have three prizes i'm like if i lose i'll lose fair and square you know i don't want a prize i'm not here for a prize they're like, well, no, we, we're only doing three. So I'm like, okay, cool. And then dude wins. The dude who's whatever is like kind of biting on my styles. And I'm like, cool. And I congratulate him. I'm like, right on. Whatever, you know, good job, bud. Like, I was, I was cool about it. You know, like, right on. Would you win? Show me, you know. Talk to him for a bit. So then Sunday comes around. And I'm like, okay. I could, like, I couldn't get in on it because I was talking to somebody I was kind of having like a meeting discussion with somebody and I missed it. And the prizes were sick, but they did the exact same thing again. Like it was like only so many people could enter it. And it was kind of like, it was kind of a weak contest, you know, it was kind of bummed me out. Like it was the only thing about vape can that I was kind of like, ah. but overall, like that event was awesome. Phil Bissardo was there. Zen was there with Jason from House of Hybrids a ton of Canadian uh, uh, companies and juice companies were there. Oh, man, it was awesome. Let me shout somebody out, okay? I forgot. This dude, Perfect Steep, okay? It's called Bravado, and I tried it out there, and he was selling, like, uh, Five Ponds and Suicide Bunny, Halo Juice, like, name brand stuff that people know and go to, right? And it's kind of in a Halo bottle, and I tasted it, and it reminded me of Belgian cocoa from Halo, because I used to vape that here and there. But it's got a tobacco-y kind of note to it, which I don't usually vape tobaccos, but man, it's good. It's really, really good. I've kind of been vaping this in the morning with a coffee, and it's just to die for. This juice is phenomenal. I picked up some Suicide Bunny tried mother's milk tried a few other things and I'm like I'm not really impressed but I went with the OB and took it home dripped it and I'm not really impressed like I'm just suicide bunny is one of those things that kind of gets hyped it has really cool labels but yeah I'm not a huge fan I'm not a huge fan um, what I am a huge fan of is all the funk sauce stuff. Captain Oliver's Toronto Juice Company. They were blowing these bottles out, 30 mil bottles, for 10 bucks. Okay, their regular price is like 16 bucks a bottle, Canadian. So, dope stuff. I, you know, stocked up huge on these. Stocked up huge on these. Um, vape stash drips, really good. I got 3, 2, 1, go. And I'm digging it. And it's just like, it's not super complex. Like, it's like sugary cream. And it's nice, man. It's nice. Like, I really dig it. Big ups to Stash, man. I dig your stuff. Um, I'm trying cold turkey. I've never really found anything I kind of dig. But I got this warm fuzzies. And it tasted pretty good. It tasted pretty good. I'm going to let this steep for, you know, a week or two before I get into it. But I think I'm going to really dig this one. I really like trying it in the Egos. Um, another cool juice company. Vape Me Vapables. They kind of have like, they had an Alice in Wonderland theme going on. Husband and wife. And they were like super cool people. Really, really cool people. Nice to talk to them. And their juice is pretty delicious, man. Like pretty delicious. Another guy that I was kind of emailing with. And I've been talking about trying to do a review for their e-liquid. Is, uh, is this guy, his name is Eric. 
Now, Eric is better known as Vapor Chase on YouTube. And if you haven't seen him, check out his channel. It's He's like the Canadian Phil Bissardo, is what I've always thought in my mind. People have said that to him. And I, 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 he's a pretty humble dude, so I think he feels weirded out by that. And anyway, I, I met up with him, and it was Sunday. I was just getting ready to leave. I talked to him on, like, Friday and seen him on Saturday. But, you know, you're kind of busy talking to everybody and, you know... It just doesn't work out all the time. So I grabbed him on Sunday and I'm like, dude, do you want to shoot a little piece with me and whatever? And he's like, oh yeah, for sure. So we go in the restaurant, we're chilling and I get my, my camera out that I'm using now, battery dies. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So I had like a photo camera, like a cyber shot and I managed to get some footage with him, but the battery died and I was so bummed because after the battery died, like I continued to talk with him for like another hour and a half and it was some of the coolest stuff that I could have put into a video for for the review of his juice line and I'm kind of bummed and I want to apologize to Eric for kind of just not being prepared like I felt like kind of an amateur with him you know because like I've watched a bunch of his videos and he's super cool dude super cool but he was nice enough to give me his whole juice line like all of it including one new one that he's been working on and the new one, I'll tell you, it's a coffee flavored vape and it's pretty special. Like I really dig it. So big ups to Eric. Within the next couple of weeks, I'm probably going to pick and choose, you know, somewhere between four and eight of these just to kind of shoot in the video, like ones that I really dig and ones that I think are really special in my personal opinion. And I'm going to shoot, shoot that and then put a clip with him in it. And kind of see where he's coming from and all that good stuff and you know try and do his juice justice because it's good you can pick up his juice at vape me um, as well uh, there's one other vendor and I forget off the top of my head right now I feel like such a knob anyway I wasn't gonna go that deep into it because I'm gonna shoot a video for it but uh, thank you Eric you rock um, what else what did I get I got the uh, 454 big block okay this one's cool because it has a canada flag on the bottom i'm gonna do a review for this i'm just gonna play with it for like the next two weeks before i do i want to put a bunch of builds in it and test it out before anything awesome awesome thing um the alpha omega tubes for the golden armor ember okay you can outfit this it's pretty boss i'm kind of digging the way it looks in brass okay 92.5 percent silver pins copper button silver spring it's working so good man with these vape power batteries oh my god this thing it just works so good i dig it like i've kind of let my manhattan sit for a few days and uh i love my manhattan like i love it i'm digging it a ton a ton a ton a ton uh, got a Tobe. I got the uh, version 2.5 Tobe, the one with like the little Christmas tree looking thing on it. Because I love the Tobes. I did a video a while back for a Tobe clone, and throughout the whole video, I'm like, TOBH, the TOBH, TOBH, TOBH. And it's just what I kind of like when I first saw the Tobes for a long time, I just called them the TOBH. And people would like, correct me and be like oh the tobe man and i'm like yeah the tobh so in that video it's just like all tobh but i'm trying to relearn it and say tobe you know tobe tobe so i'm gonna say tobe in the video but uh let me do it with a vape bowl in my lungs it'll sound really cool i think tobe tobe <laughs> anyway this thing's hitting hard i love the tobe Loving the 454. Just shot the video for the Quicksilver RDA. That thing is badass, man. Badass. Oh, yeah, here's the Tobe. The Tobe. I got the Chuppin' Up Drip Tip. Thanks to Tyler for getting me one of these. It is pretty boss, man. The draw off this is sick. Oh, and I'm vaping one of the uh, Vapor Chase brews in this. This is Morning Dew. It's like a citrus blend. And I got to say right now, this is pretty special. Pretty Breaking special. Um, grab something else up. 
ceramic tweezers a lot of people have been telling me to get these one of the guys on my facebook group was saying get the ceramic tweezers you'll never look back and uh i did uh join the facebook group if you have questions i've kind of been taking a break from answering questions on youtube because vape can and just i've been on holidays and stuff so the best way to have a question answered is to go on the facebook group and there's somebody there even if i'm not someone else will reply and help you out because that's what everybody's out in the community to do okay um facebook group maestro vapes um what else oh yeah the uh this juice i've been vaping in my cave on on the magneto the build's like a 0.8 ohm build, 0.76, something like that. Maybe it's not. No, it's like a 0.84 Tiger Coil. I Tiger Coiled this just because uh, someone told me I couldn't. And it's pretty special, man. Pretty special stuff. Man, I love this for breakfast, dude. This is such a good vape. Such a good vape. Stash is good. Uh, got a new ohm reader, too. This thing, uh, it reads accurately. Okay, maybe it doesn't because the setting, where it is, is off by 0.05 on every build. So I have to subtract 0.05 from it. Okay, <laughs> sounds weird, right? But it's so accurate down to low res and it goes by one point, which is pretty cool. So as long as I'm subtracting 0.05, it's working well. So if it says 0.1, Point 0.1, it's point 0.05, you know, okay, so makes sense, it's good, but it's bad, but I figured it out, so it's all right, um, cool stuff, talking to Zen, man, that guy was boss, Phil Bissardo is cool, I met him in the bathroom, and you're taking a squirt, and you're just like, I don't want to say hi to Phil while I'm taking a squirt, while he's taking a squirt, it's weird, left the bathroom, did my thing, washed my hands, all that good stuff, met him in the lobby way, and started talking to him, took a picture with him, super cool, Later on, this guy approaches Phil and he says, oh, dude, I'm a huge fan, super huge fan. I love your stuff. And Phil's like, you're not a fan, you're a friend. And I just thought that was the coolest, most classy thing to say. Phil Basardo is a rockin' cool guy, man. And he was down at the bar on Saturday night and Zen came down. I, we had been talking, myself, Tyler, Arthur, and Tony, we were kind of like Dash Vapes crew guys. Um, well, not Tony. He just shops there. But anyway, Tony's a cool dude. Um, we're at the. We're talking to Jason from House of Hybrids for a while, like 45 minutes to an hour. And then Zen kind of comes down. Jason takes off. We're sitting down. Zen comes and sits beside us. So I'm like, we didn't even approach this dude. He just sat down, started picking his brain, started talking about his uh, new DNA, ZNA30 box slash tube mod thing he's got going on which is super cool uh playing around with that it's awesome um but i started talking to him about low res builds and stuff and he's so insightful you know he's like i said well what do you think is safe like if i build to 0.06 do you think that's safe and he's like it depends what do you check your resistance with i'm like an ohm reader like i just showed you right and he's like you know what you're never going to be sure because those ohm readers you know, unless you have $10,000 in test equipment, you're not going to get it perfect. You know, they're not exact. And I'm like, yeah, well, good point, right? And we, we, we were talking about low res, and he's like, basically, it's, you know, playing Russian roulette. Like, maybe it works, maybe it works, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. And it's coming from his opinion, but it's like talking to Albert Einstein, so you got to give it to him. You know what I mean? So I'm talking to him and he's just saying, well, you know, maybe you get it right this day, this day, this day, this day, but where does it go wrong? You know, and I'm like, yeah, I've vented batteries. I've had the threads get hot on stuff and stuff like that. And I try and build as safely as I possibly can. And he's like, you're taking a step in the right direction and that's good. But I feel like sometimes I don't preach battery safety as much as I should because there's a lot of noobs coming on and they want to build low and they want to be cloud chasers, you know? But I wasn't always a cloud chaser. I built like a hundred coils that were above one ohm before I started sub ohming. You know what I mean? I got 30 amp batteries before I needed 30 amp batteries, you know? So be safe. If you're doing builds that are like 0.1 ohm on your magneto, you shouldn't, you know? Like, I'm sorry. 
And like this guy will get hot. I had to stop using this when I built around 0.22 ohms and below because I couldn't. Like it would not handle it. It could not handle it. I don't care if it's like the brass colored tube or the stainless one. It doesn't handle it. I'm sorry. Like I've got a 0.8 ohm build on it and it works fine. But be safe, man. You know, and you don't necessarily have to build 0.09 ohm builds to chuck clouds. Like the dude on Saturday, last Saturday, who won the cloud contest, his build was a 0.3 something. Like 0 0.36, 0 0.34, whatever. And he just took a better inhale technique. Like there's a lot to building clouds. Like your wicking is going to be as important as your coil build. You know, your airflow is going to be huge. Like if you want bigger clouds, drill some more holes or drill bigger holes in your cap. You'll get bigger clouds. You know, there's a lot of things. Tail piping helps your clouds to get bigger. You know, this build is like a 0.4 ohm build. So let me see how it is. It chucks, man. Chucks. I am putting about five volts to it, but hey, man, it's good. Short pulse. I build low because I like hot vapes. That's why I do it. And yes, it helps the clouds a bit, but I like a hot vape, you know? So keep that in mind, you know, be careful when you build, keep practicing, you know, there's no shame in building 0.7 ohm builds, you know what I mean? There's no shame in 0.5s, you know, just be safe, get your technique down and understand where the mistakes are. Because if you're building a coil and you don't know why your leg is getting hot through the center post or something when you're dry firing it, you should know, like you should just know. Um... I, I know, like I've got a loose connection or something's wrong. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to check everything, you know. So that's it. Big play safe, you know, play safe. Uh, that's it, man. I'm, I'm still going to continue to build low because I like it. And that's what I'm going to share with you. But I want to stress the safety, okay. Stress the safety. Batteries. One more thing. Battery health. Like your batteries are going to get weaker and shittier as time goes on, okay. I cycle my batteries about every three months, no matter what. They could still be working well, but I know that their health is getting weaker. And if I'm putting low res to those batteries, they're not going to continue to rock as hard as they could. So I, I swap them out. I get new ones. And then what I can do is, like these are older batteries that I have, they end up in like a box mod or they end up in a regulated mod, something like that, that isn't going to be that big a deal if there is a problem with it. You know what I mean? So be safe. Be careful. Use an ohm tester, but use it with a grain of salt because they're not perfect. It's like voltage drop testers. They're not perfect. It's like, you know, the chip in this that controls, you know, what the voltage is that it's putting out. It's not perfect. I guess the OKRT chip is pretty good, but either way, it's not perfect. So know your limits and vape within it. That's why I say that at the end of every video, because I think that that's really important to share with people. All right, guys. So if anything that I took from that uh, conversation, two hour conversation with Zen was to stress the safety. Okay, guys, um, Bill's a cool guy. Jason, Zen, awesome dudes. If you have questions about it and want to talk more about it, join the Facebook group. It's called Maestro Vapes. There's a lot of cool dudes on there, cool chicks that will help you out. Okay, guys? Uh, that's pretty much all I've got. I probably have a few other things. I wanted to talk a bit more about the cotton, stuff like that, but I'm going to save that for the next one because we're pushing a half an hour on this video, guys. So it's been cool chilling with you and chatting with you questions, comments, queries, concerns, join the Facebook group. It's the best way to have your stuff answered, okay? Post them in the comments, you know? I'll, I do my best to check everything out. I read all the comments, whether I get back to them or not. If it's a question, I try my best, but sometimes it gets lost in the mix, okay? So 
Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for chilling out. It's been a blast. I always have a good time talking to you guys. And uh, Vape Can was a slice. Thanks to all the vendors. Gold Seal giving out grocery bags. You'll see me at, you know, the grocery store with this thing. Um, super cool stuff, man. Super cool, super fun times. And I can't wait till the next one. Maybe I could set up the uh, cloud contest for that. Because the cloud contest is kind of like, you could go with anything. You had like four 26650 batteries. It's good. Jump in there. I like that there was no build limit, though. That was pretty cool, man. So, good times. And, and one of the dudes who won, his name was Ken. I think he won on Sunday. And he had the coolest, like, box mod that he made, which he called uh, Chugly. I think it was Chugly. And it was so cool. Dual 26650 mod. Super huge. And, uh, yeah, it was really cool. That dude has, like, like a friggin' military vest on with mods in it and juice and batteries. It was pretty cool, man. I, I had a good time talking to that dude and stuff. Super fun. Awesome. Thanks for everybody who made it possible. Um, Frenchie and he, like all those dudes who, who organized it and stuff. It was awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. So wicked times, my friends. I'm going to cut out of here, although I don't want to. I just kind of want to keep chilling. What's coming up? I'm going to do a vid for the Hexom. It's coming up. I'm going to play with it a bit. I'm going to do a uh, 454 big block review with a build. With a build, for sure. Because I've been digging doing a build with the review. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should do like a review, straight review, and then do a build separately. What do you guys think? Should I do that? I don't know. I kind of dig it all in one, you know? And if you don't like the build part, skip over it, you know? I kind of dig that. It's just, it's nice and easy. I'm going to still do a build. Got one coming up. It's going to be good. I won't let you down, my brothers and sisters. Good times, man. Yeah, maybe doing the uh, Golden Armor Ember 26650 because I'm digging this thing a lot. Okay, a lot, a lot. All right. Toe, I'm doing the tobe. I'm doing the tobe. I dig the tobe, man. That thing's cool. The juices are coming up for Vapor Chase Brews. Eric is awesome. Thanks for spending time, man. Thanks for thanks for spending a couple hours with me. It really meant a lot, you know, because it, it's like meeting somebody that you feel like you know because you've watched their videos. Maybe some of you guys feel that way with me, you know what I mean? And uh, at Vape Can, a lot of people approached me. Not a lot, but a bunch of people approached me, and they're like, hey, dude, I love your videos. Or Maestro Vapes, what's up, bro? And I spent, you know, as much time as I could squawking in their ear until they got tired of me, you know, talking about builds and what they're vaping and cool stuff, what I was grabbing and interested in. So it was really cool meeting all of those people, man. And uh, yeah, what's up, guys? If you're watching this, it was cool to meet you guys right up. Give me a pound, bro. Right there. Boom. Cool, man. It was good times. Until next year, you know, wicked, wicked. Um, like I always say, guys butt out vape up and breathe easy know your limits and vape within it and you my friend you are gonna have a sick stellar day all right catch you on the next one one more pull and i'm out what am i gonna pull on that chuffing up tip is sick man the airflow on the chuffing up is dope i almost forgot man it's so good Man, Chase, your vapor Chase brews. I'm digging this. Morning Dew, man. It's so good. I'll mix it up with OMC. Who knows? We could have come up with something there. Maybe not. Maybe. It's not half bad, man. Not half bad. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Cool chilling out, bro.